Interoperability is very important. You have to be able to connect chains in a standard way in order to build things in a decentralized way and for people to collaborate. We think that interoperability is going to be increasingly important in a modular blockchain world. We're using different types of blockchains for different types of applications. It's our job to validate that the best solutions at every layer, whether it be interoperability, scalability, privacy, UX across the board. The goal of interoperability is to allow someone to take advantage of block space wherever they are. Um, while still having access to every other layer. I think all of these infrastructure um, developments are really uh, building the usability for a non-technical user. Uh, we're obviously also mostly investing in infrastructure since that's also our business. And in the end, we're still like in the infrastructure phase of uh, blockchain adoption. And I think um, that we obviously saw like some applications in the last cycle or like in between that that sort of happened and that got some traction and we're, we're still also looking at those I think especially like app chains you know it's like decryptifying crypto while still giving people this sense of ownership um, and, and the flexibility to um, you know participate uh, in you know th this next generation of the internet without anyone telling them or controlling like their decision making in that regard Developer UX for building an app chain is decently good already. At Polymer, we're working on open source tooling such as IBC SDK to improve the developer UX and bring more developers to the ecosystem. From our perspective, um, if you kind of fragment every user, every use case into different um, states or, or what we call chainlets, then they kind of need to communicate with one another and restore that asynchronous uh, communication and IBC is uh, pretty much vital to that. So the core protocol I think is uh, is very well fleshed out. Uh, this is uh, a bunch of substandards, ICS, whatever, uh, that define how chains are supposed to talk to one another, what's a client connection channel, how what's the f structure of a packet and so on. That's been very well, it's the core protocol and it's it's been very well uh, defined. You know, that's also the reason why our entire protocol, we are IBC Maxis. The Quasar will never use anything else in IBC. Uh, maybe not never, <laughs> I don't know what's happening in 10 years, but like for now we are IBC Maxis and it's the, it's the way that we see the space joining together because it's you know, the only way to move assets without more security assumptions beyond the actual product focus. So we work with various projects and various technologies. The only requirement that we have is essentially enabling IBC. I believe all of that infrastructure is going to make the technology writ large, much more accessible, much more usable. There are going to be better use cases, um, they're going to be more effective and efficient, um, and that's going to help bring users into the ecosystems. Um, and eventually, regulation is going to have to adapt to that, I hope.